Falcon GW. Rated 15.40 from the US survey. Alright, let's start off on H4. Ooh, pre-movie 6. Uh, okay. He's moving fast. Oh, what? We're playing one minute chess. Okay, that's careless. Sorry, that's my bad. Uh, I assumed that all the challenges I had coming in were 3-2. Please don't challenge me at other time controls. So I easily get distracted and simply press accept. Um, okay, which means I um, need to not lose on time. All right, perfect. There's no increment in this game. Yeah, just one minute flat. All right. Well, even though I'm 10 seconds down on the clock, I'm fairly certain I can manage this. Let's go all the way back here. Let's knight go out to this rim, to F4. Just need a plan again. Maybe F3 to blast things open a little bit. Uh, in fact, I kind of like this move. Oh, rook across to this way and then F3. Uh, bishop back. Bishop back. And A4. Down to 20 seconds against 22, so it is a little bit close. Here. Uh, I'd kind of like a, a strong attack somewhere. Let's bring a knight in via e1 to d3. It's kind of a slow manoeuvring game as well, which is making it harder for me to win. But I'm simply going to win this game on time. And, oh, my opponent's not falling for a tactic. Take, take. Knight in. And he's going to lose on time. Oh, I even get to do that. And there we go. Um, I will give this guy a rematch, because it seems only fair. Do try and play two games against everyone, but then I'll be hopping straight back into um, one minute. All right, looks like... Oh, there we go. We do have the accept. All right. At least these one-minute games don't tend to take too long. Um, let's again, play a double knights on the rim. How are we doing time-wise? Got plenty of time. Take, take. Uh, F6. Let's do this. Knight in. Um, A6. Queen here. Take that off, take that off. Let's do a bit of castling. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Doing a bit better at keeping the queens on in recent games, I think. Haven't been keeping perfect track. Um, ooh. All right, let's go d6 to stop him playing queen d6. This game is pretty tricky, actually. Uh, I'm not actually threatening to take that if I'm not allowed to swap queens, but oh well. Let's just go e5 in a minute. Ooh, I think I can take that. He can get two rooks for the queen. Ooh, gotta take this way first, obviously. Oh, wait! That was a horrendous blunder. What am I doing? Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, this was not a good one minute game. Uh, let's push some pawns down. Alright, pushing these pawns. Hashtag push pawns. Let's push all these pawns until there's no, many, no more pawns to push. Is there any possible way I can cause enough confusion here? Don't think so, but we'll give it a go. Pushing more pawns, pushing more pawns, pushing more pawns. Uh, let's go that one up. K5. 
working across. Take this. Oh, white wins on time. I guess this is a decider. Um, that all went very strange. Alright, we're going to stick with our guns. H4, H5. D3. Let's get a few fast moves going at the start of this game. Now he's made me angry. There go a lot of one minute points. Queen across here. Queen across here. And that should be a piece. That's how we do one minute chess, guys. That's a piece. That's a rook. And that is that. Still struggling to play quickly, actually. I don't really know why. Don't know what's causing me to play quite as slowly as I am. But it's not going to matter in this game. We are going to take down a rather unsatisfactory series 2-1. to one. Uh, let's just play that back. The king across. Not taking any chances here. Have that pawn. Uh, have that pawn. See if we can finish this with a mate. Let's bring in the last of our pieces. Oh, let's have that one as well. Let's, now we can push these pawns. Let's get them going. Always got to check, I suppose. Uh, let's do that. Must be a mate incoming here. Maybe not. I was just checking I'm not leaving a mate on D1 on. But that is going to be game over. Uh, oh, what is that? Nine seconds. King of course. And that is mate. There we go. Ah, panic over. Panic over. Alright, we're going to switch across back to 3-2. Challenge came in from GM Terrace, 1739, from Norway, I think. Uh, let's try one H5. The, no the double knights on the rim didn't really work so well with black. So let's just rush a pawn to H4. And then a quick c5. And then I reckon g6, bishop g7 after d5. Oh, my opponent's disconnected. Fingers crossed he'll be back. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. He is showing as having a pretty good connection here on chess.com, so there shouldn't be ongoing problems. But, yeah. Oh, right, bishop g7. Again, we have some kind of odd Benoni. Uh, you can go bishop g5 here, but then I'm going to try and annoy my opponent with queen a5, queen b6 type things. All right, let's bring this knight back into the fold. Maybe looking to go b5 at some point. Hmm, now if he plays bishop g5, I'm not so sure what to play. Let's just give that pawn away and go for quick queenside play. So bishop takes a, uh, h4, just go a6, and then b5 pretty much whatever he does. That feels like a plan to me. Obviously no reason to castle here. My king's perfectly safe in the centre. My rook is perfectly useful on h8. Um, I'm not sure. 
let's just get this b5 going before he goes e5 and gets counterplay. Might want to go knight h5 fairly soon here, but he can just drop the bishop back to h2 for the time being. I've actually got knight g4 in this position if I want it as well, which is worth bearing in mind. Mm, but not worth bearing in mind when I've got knight takes here. Oh my word, he's got knight takes c7. I know he doesn't in queen a4, because my rook's covering it. Look how both of my rooks are really active and I've not moved them. That's great. Actually, I really like my position. I think my opponent is in a huge amount of trouble. I guess he can do that and then castle. I think he has to castle now. And then I'm wondering if I take on b2 and leave a3 alone. Okay. Well, that moves suspicious to me. Why don't I just play this? And if knight d2, I've got knight takes, queen takes, queen takes, b5. And if king f1, then I have a whole host of options. Maybe just knight g3, rook b8. I like knight g3, rook b8 a lot. Because if he plays a4, I can play rook takes b5. And if a takes, I got a1. And if queen takes, I got bishop a6. Look at that. There is a tactic. And the two bishops are reigning supreme. There goes his queen. This one's worked out pretty well. And there we go. My opponent resigns. Let's offer the guy a rematch. And repeat. 1h4. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And doesn't seem to be broken to me. Alright, let's maybe modify it a little bit and bring this knight out earlier. Let's play it slightly differently. I don't believe this is the most accurate way to play 1h4, but, you know, got to mix it up so that people uh, aren't able to prepare too easily for me. And then d4. So we actually haven't really had knights on the room in this game. But still h4, h5. So I kind of get away with that. Hmm, knight d7. I was not expecting this. But it looks okay. Kind of looks okay. Uh, let's take that off. Play bishop e3 here. Just not really sure how I'm supposed to develop the rest of my army. Uh, okay, you can have that pawn. I can't really be bothered to defend that one. Which is bad. I really should be. Bishop a3, queen e3 check. He's probably just going knight c4 here. I don't like this as much as the last game at all. I don't feel like I've got as clear a plan. Maybe we just have to castle and cut, cut our losses at some stage. You know, that pawn, it's just a distraction. Because if he takes it, I can follow up with e4 and get quite a dangerous attack going, perhaps. Takes, e4, c5. I've got to be careful. Definitely have to be careful. Do, can I go e4 anyway? Not really, I don't think. Let's just bring a rook to the open b4 while I still hover around looking for a plan. Can I go e4 now? e4, c5. Oh, I don't see a good move after e4, c5. This is the thing. Like, is there some kind of peace sack? Not really. Um, 
Yeah, okay, this game isn't really working right now. Let's go Rook D1. Ooh, is my Queen trapped after Bishop A3? Yes, yes it is. Uh, I mean, I guess I can go Rook B2 and give away a Rook, but that's not great. I guess... Hmm. Well, I got away with that. Can I go E4 now? Take. Got to go Rook B7. Let's have that pawn. Also gives my queen a space to run off to. This is not such a good game. Not such a good game. Whew. Still looking for a moment to go e4 in this one. But I can't... I can't quite make it work. If my opponent plays c5 here... Then... I don't know. Let's just take this off. Take, take. Back on even material. Bishop h3. I'm still looking at this move. Um, still... Okay, let's let's just play this move. If I play e4, I can stop looking at it. I'm kind of worried he's going to take and play queen g4 and threaten knight f4. But there must be a way to defend that. Maybe just knight h2 or something. But yeah, definitely queen g4 is the move I don't want him to play. And then I'll play knight h2, knight f4 check. King h2, I think. That seems to be okay. I wonder if he's wondering about bishop takes, but it doesn't look like it. it. looks like his eyes are elsewhere. Um, okay, I see his idea. Alright, I'm just going to bring this bishop back. I guess he's taking on c3 and taking on e4. But I'm kind of okay with that. And I also saw that against this, I had this move. I think everything's under control. Do I have some beautiful win here with queen h6? Okay, we start off with knight e7. If king h8, queen h6 wins us the game. Okay, that's just mate in one. But, which is a shame. Because I was going to say... Oh. I was going to say at the end there... King h7, knight g5... Takes. Queen takes. And then I'm threatening mate. And the queen. 